Converting fractions to decimals. There are a couple of ways to convert fractions to decimals. The first, which is the fastest, is to memorize some basic fraction facts. One over one hundred is one hundredth. Expressed as a decimal, it's point zero one. One over fifty is two hundredths. Expressed as a decimal, it's point zero two. One over twenty-five is one twenty-fifth, or four hundredths. Expressed as a decimal, it's point zero four. One over twenty is one twentieth, or five hundredths. Expressed as a decimal, it's point zero five. One over ten is one tenth. Expressed as a decimal, it's point one. One over eight is one eighth, or one hundred twenty-five thousandths. Expressed as a decimal, it's point one two five. One over five is one fifth, or two tenths. Expressed as a decimal, it's point two. One over four is one fourth, or twenty five hundredths. Expressed as a decimal, it's point two five. One over three is one third, or thirty three hundredths. Expressed as a decimal, it's point three three. One over two is one half, or five tenths. Expressed as a decimal, it's point five. Three over four is three fourths, or seventy five hundredths. Expressed as a decimal, it's point seven five. Of course, if you're no good at memorization, another good technique for converting a fraction to a decimal is to manipulate it so that the fraction's denominator is ten, one hundred, one thousand, or some other power of ten. Here's an example. We'll start with three quarters. What is the first number in the four times table that you can multiply and get a multiple of ten? Can you multiply four by something to get ten? No. Can you multiply it by something to get one hundred? Yes. Four times twenty-five is one hundred. So multiply the numerator by twenty-five, which is seventy-five over one hundred. We know fractions are really a division problem, and we also know that dividing by one hundred means we move the decimal two places to the left. So seventy-five over one hundred equals point seven five.